when other people that are in the protected political class in Hollywood make a joke that they don't like, they'll just put them on the sidelines for a minute or they'll give them a chance to apologize. Howard Stern made light of the Columbine shooting. Sarah Silverman wore blackface. Joy Behar wore blackface. So it's not as if you did anything that was bad. No, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel, right? I can go through the whole list, but let's get into yeah. this, Roseanne. There were probably people within the network that were never happy that the populist working class in America had a revival of a television show during the Trump era, and they were waiting, and they were waiting, and they were waiting. Roseanne Barr. Yeah, that's exactly right. And that the lead character, uh, you know, I didn't want to be the one to support Trump, but I wanted someone on the show to do it. I thought it was too on the head for me to do it because I'd already been vocal about, you know, being a supporter before that. But, you know, none of the other people on the show would do it. None of them, they all said, no, I'll never, I'll ne I can't do that. So I had to do it. And, you know, I was proud to do it too. And, uh, but that shows you about the uh, brainwashing there. Yes. Well, and, and, and that it was specifically an agenda. And, and so, Roseanne, I want to broaden this for a second. You mentioned Kimmel. You know, the, the writers are all on strike on Hollywood. This shows how irrelevant. I didn't know they were on strike. That shows how little that I actually pay attention to them until... People told me the writer's strike was going to be over. I said they were on strike. That shows that they're kind of irrelevant. But, you know, Roseanne, you look at those. I know. I said they were all they were all complaining that they, they said the next scripts in Hollywood will be written by AI robots. And I said, oh, boy, then they'll be funny. <laughs> Well, and that's so you, you look at Kimmel, you watch you, any of these guys and you notice the crowd claps and they don't laugh. It's more about political agreement. Humor is under attack. Roseanne, the reason they don't like you and the reason why you are an American legend is you tell the truth. Truth and humor are the same thing. You laugh because someone is noticing something you know to be true. They say in a way that you might not have thought before. We're not laughing very much as a society. Humor is under attack from every direction. In fact, humor is largely dead. Why do you think that is? Well, I said when it happened, when, when Obama signed the NDAA, he made comedy illegal, and I commented that on my on my Twitter, uh, you know, whatever it's called, crawl. Um, I said comedy is now illegal because you can't, you know, it's a it's a ministry of truth, just like in uh, Ayn Rand's book. You know, you will have to be certified strong. before you can speak your your opinion as an American. And that was frightening. It it it, it, it and it's uh, continued to go downhill, and it's just horrifying. But I want to say comedy's having a big comeback uh, down there in uh, Austin, Texas, at Joe Rogan's Club, which we can all go to, and Joe guarantees our freedom of speech there. Thank you, Joe. And a lot of comics are coming from all over the country. And the kind of comedy that's emanating from that place is like a renaissance of comedy. It's all political. It's all like going to putting the blame upwards instead of lateral. Yes, or oh, that's so smart. Yeah, that's such a smart point. Class people from your elitist college educated point of view that you've been trained to do. But, you know, it's not talking down with that sneer, like that cold bear sneer. It's not none of that. It's for real. And I'm so I just want everyone to know how positive I feel about what's coming up in, in the future and how I see these unfolding and staggering synchronicities uh, and minor miracles of us getting through, us getting through the great big wall, the new Berlin wall of information that's been put around our country. But we're breaking through it and it's just fantastic to witness it. Like Paxton get, you know, like some justice in Texas where they tried to frame him like they're trying to, like they have been framing me People like me who uh, love our country and believe in integration and not segregation. And people like me who uh, think that our veterans uh, deserve something that people who sent their children to fight in the wars shouldn't lose their houses. Um, stuff like that, that comes from the bottom up, not the top down, not any manufactured re uh, revolution or a uh, progressive revolution, and I say progressive as a cancer, not any kind of revolution that comes from the intelligentsia down, but one that comes from the living humans who do all the work, who make things go, that therefore 
a real grassroots revolution, which they've tried to co-opt with their uh, hoity-toityness, but everybody sees through it now. And that is by the grace of God, I think. Roseanne, that's such a smart point. I want to dive into that, that most comedy, especially post-Trump, has been punching down. Look at the smelly Walmart person. Look at the welder. Look at the, you know, deplorable. Where comedy... That's, why I, that's part of why I came back, because I just couldn't take it. I just couldn't take it. I'm like, oh my God, it's disgusting. How dare they? How, how very effing dare they? And it's cheap, right? But that goes to show that comics have now become the Praetorian guard for the oligarchs when comedy is supposed yeah. to challenge the powerful. And this is why Stalin put the comics in prison. And our, our, our current comic yeah. class, yeah, actually aren't comics because they're not making fun of, which is revealing and telling the truth about Pfizer, AstraZeneca. Look at Woody Harrison, right? Speaking truth to power. That's what comedy is. That's yes. what the gesture was in the King's Court. He could come and make fun of fun of the king in front of the people and the king you know would laugh at himself and therefore the people would give their consent because they loved a guy who could laugh at himself that showed that he wasn't corrupted but when these people can't laugh at themselves and, and even the way they look that that might be uh you know similar to a character in a, in a movie um that's a real red flag of fascism Mm hmm. And, and, and what's so funny is they say they're anti-fascist, which is just hilarious. But but well, Roseanne you know, everything is the opposite of what it means. Like, you know, when they say uh, Green New Deal, that means they're going to destroy everything living in the world. So, you know, they always use the language that makes you think, oh, like, you know, like these uh, scams the Bush family ran where they said security and fiduciary duty in their, uh, you know, banking scams. Come on, people. you, you got to learn. The key is reverse the reversal. You're already being told, you're already being told the reverse of the truth. So you just, all you have to do is just reverse it one more time to know the truth because they get the truth and corrupt it. So uncorrupt yes. it. That's why you got a thinking cap that came from the root. To the root. And mm -hmm. so you look at Woody Harrelson, who goes and does an SNL open, which is hilarious about Pfizer and AstraZeneca and Moderna, and he gets criticized. Yeah, he did that right after my Fox special where I made fun of the vaccine, and I was the first one to do it, and it was to everybody saying, don't do it. But after I did it, like two weeks after my Fox special, then he was on SNL doing it, which I applaud him for, but I was pissed, and I said, he's still in my... He's still in my act. Well, a but lot of people have stolen your stuff. It. Oh, they all steal my stuff, but I don't even care anymore. And now I just troll it like I go to trolls on Twitter. I mean, I troll. I go to powerful people on Twitter and I type something in that I know they're going to subsume, consume, and use and not give me credit. I don't even care if I get credit anymore. The the need for good ideas that set people straight and speak truth to power and speak to gather in your soulmates, that's all we have to fight with is words.